So it's a little bit shocking, but it is true. We have made it to week three in our online class. Um, week two, you can obviously continue to turn in your quiz and your, um, your external brain, um, and, but we're tying up week two and we're diving into week three. This week we have two video lectures that are coming at you. One of them is already published, ready to go. We're talking about the cell and we're talking about the cell membrane. Next week we have one more lecture and it's on um, how stuff gets in and out of the cell membrane. My goal is to get next week's stuff ready sooner than we would normally get it ready and possibly even publish it a little bit early, especially if you guys feel like that would be helpful because the thing that I am particularly keying in on this week is that, uh, yeah, our first exam is coming up in just a little over a week. The way that our exams, this is the first of five. Five. How many exams? Five. And they're all proctored. You do not have to come to campus unless you want to. And basically this week you are going to commit to me how you are going to take your proctored exam. One thing that we have access to this semester, which is super awesome, you can use a service called Proctorio. That will let you take your exam at home and on your computer and it, like, watches you. And if you're like, dude, I do not want it watching me while I take an exam, then you need to find another way to be proctored because you certainly do not have to use that service. The advantage is taking it at home. You won't have to go out and find a proctor or a proctor uh, legit situation. So, um, yes, I will be reaching out to you. And yes, respond. I will hunt you down because we need to get that whole thing figured out. Mm, fun. Okay. Um, lab this week. Let me show you what's going on with our lab. We are in lab three, which is why I'm going to close lab two. Look, it has its name on it. Scopes and cells. What? And everything in lab three is uh, um, not, there's no grocery list, which is uh, a good thing, I think. It's nice to have a little break from the grocery list after last week. Um, next week our lab is on our exam. And so, again, and it, there will be a grocery list for that one. And so my goal is to get that published as soon as possible so that you can see it and um, get rolling. Um, what was I going to tell you about the lab? Oh, we're going to use a virtual microscope. So I kind of feel like I want to go, like, look at it. There, virtual microscope. I'm just going to open that thing up and see what we end up with. Look, it's the virtual microscope. And that guy, like, talks to you automatically. This, he scared the crap out of me the first time I went here because there's a loud person talking to me, um, and I was not expecting it. So this has all the parts of a microscope. It lets you actually, like, move things. So you can change the objectives. You can move the ocular in and out because look at how good I'm doing that. Oh, I have to go. I have to look through it before I can do it. You can grab a slide and bring it down here. You have to turn on the microscope. If you're like, dude, did I do everything? Uh-huh. They give you, like, this awesome checklist. And the checklist is such that, um, dude, I should, oh, no, this is a good time to do this. I was thinking that I already did a talk about the lab, and I didn't do this, but that was last week's lab. I'm good. So you, basically, you can do, look, this rheostat thing. You might be like, dude, what the heck is that? The rheostat is down here. See the one? You, like, switch it to 10. And then, look, it tells you, cha-ching, you did it. 
So really, if all of our face-to-face -face classes had a microscope like this, it'd be amazing because it doesn't let you go on until you've done it right. Um, the specimen, you can actually center the specimen using this thing, um, and this is actually exactly like a real microscope. You can see the specimen is here, and I am just trying to get it lined up so that it's in the light. The light is shining up through here. Look, this is a little iris diaphragm bit, and when you're looking through the microscope, it'll change the contrast of the slide. Um, let's start on low power because you always start on low power. And then let's go ahead. Oh, we have to start with the stage at the top position. Uh-huh. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you. Did you see this? This is my focus. This is my coarse focus. This is my fine focus. You can't really see the stage moving with the fine focus knob, but it totally does. And let's go switch views and head into, like, this is the scope. We have to adjust our ocular so that we get, like, a nice view. And so if you, like, boom, and then it tells you, good job, you adjusted the oculars. We, somewhere in here, we can adjust the coarse focus and Look, there's my onion root tip. And I don't know, yeah, so the coarse focus is coarse, and then the fine focus will let us get a little more detailed. I want to show you, um, see that red circle right there? You can actually move that toward the middle. That's the place in this simulation where you actually have um, focus. It isn't really a real microscope. I know, shocking. And so the quality of the image is best in that little circle. In a real scope, you totally would, like, look all around and go exploring, and unfortunately you can't do that here. It's, for some reason, not checking me off in fine focus land because it thinks that it's not finely focused. So now it's finely focused. Awesome. Looks the same to me. Then, look, you can come over here. I didn't think, oops, now I'm on 100x and you never should go to 100x um, from 10x. But now I'm at 10x and look, I can see. That's so cool. And now I can scoot it up and get even closer. Dude, these little onion root tip cells are going through mitosis. Let's see if we can get it a little more clear. Um, I guess I was moving it around. Now I want to try and focus it. At that magnification, it's often difficult to focus it anyway. Um, and then look, I can actually adjust this thing and get um, different contrast. And that's the iris diaphragm, and it tells you right here what to do. So. I think this will be pretty straightforward. You are going to take some selfies and possibly some screenshots, throw some images up into your lab notebook, but I think this lab um, should be pretty straightforward. Okay, how are you? Did I say everything? I feel like there, it says discussions on there, which I can't remember if I said anything about the discussions. Um, I don't know what I said. Did I say anything about the discussions? Yell really loud. Maybe I'll hear you. <laughs> I wish I could. Um, be meaningful. I'm working through, I know I talked about this in the one where I was dealing with the lab. So it goes for the Muddy Fun discussions as well. Um, I'm not totally ready to take responsibility. I'm not totally ready to make you take responsibility for the quality of the discussions because I feel like I need to offer you more guidance, but um, it's not far from now that I'm going to be looking at the discussions and be like, dude, you said one line three times. That's not a meaningful contribution. Like, come on. Like, there, they, there's got to be stuff that you're confused about. There's got to be things that you're, like, thinking about and engaging with, and if you're not engaging, then you don't deserve the points. Like, because the whole point of this discussion board is to make sure that, like, you have a chance to interact with the material in with humans. So um, if you 
want to have online bio one as an option, then we're definitely going to have to like step up the game. And I'm working on stepping up my end of it um, to try and make it so that you're not jumping through hoops and doggies, all of you doggies out there, there are things that you're like, Riggs should be doing this. It would be much better if she was doing this. It would be really helpful if she did this. Please tell me. Just tell me. Like, be brave. Just tell me. There's never consequences for, as, as long as you're not mean. But I am a feedback junkie. Give it to me straight because I want to make this um, better than how we're doing so far. All right. I do love you even though I haven't talked to hardly any of you, which reminds me, look, I have office hours. I have online office hours. Like, I'm hanging out in my office at that time. Apparently, uh, last week I forgot to log in, but I was in my office hanging out between 10, I mean 12 and 1 p.m. So I will be in this little zone. Just click on the link and come into the Zoom meeting and um, holler at me if you have questions, feedback, say hi, whatever you'd like to do. How are you? I wish I could talk to you. So come visit me in office hours because I want to talk to you. All right. Have a good week, and I will be talking to you because there's a lot of stuff going on this week. Bye-bye.